Hello students, Miss Watson here, and today we're going to take a look at the greenhouse effect. Now I chose this picture here because it shows the two sides of the greenhouse effect. On the left you have the natural greenhouse effect and all the positives that it brings including making this earth a temperature that we could even live on. And then on the right we have the human enhanced greenhouse effect or the anthropogenic greenhouse effect and how it's heating the earth up a little bit too much and we know there's some negative consequences related to that. So here are our learning goals for today. You should be able to describe the greenhouse effect, describe what makes a greenhouse gas, and list some sources of greenhouse gases. So first of all, the greenhouse effect is a natural process. It is something that would happen even if humans weren't on Earth. And in fact, it, would it takes the temperature from about minus 18 degrees Celsius to about positive 15. So that's sort of on average around the globe. It would be minus 18 on average everywhere. And it's now positive 15 degrees Celsius on average everywhere on Earth because of that greenhouse effect. So it makes it a livable place for humans. Um, and what actually happens is that the sunlight comes towards the Earth and normally it would hit off the Earth and then bounce back into space. But because we have these greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, as the sunlight, the, we call it the infrared radiation, as it comes back out into space, these um, greenhouse gases absorb the infrared radiation and then re-radiate it in all different directions. So some of it will come back down to Earth, heating the Earth up again. Some will radiate through the atmosphere, heating up the atmosphere. So that's how we end up getting this temperature increase. And here's a little animation of what would happen. So normally the sun comes um, and then the light turns into infrared radiation and then would leave the earth right away. And that would make the earth a very cold place. But here with all these greenhouse gases added in, when the sunlight comes, when the infrared radiation leaves, it may hit a greenhouse gas or some gases and it will re-radiate in all directions. And then when those uh, that heat hits the different gases, then that may re-radiate in other directions, re-radiate, re-radiate, so that same amount of heat is staying on Earth for a lot longer than it naturally would be. So what actually makes a greenhouse gas? Well, they need to be able to absorb and then re-radiate the infrared radiation. And I put a couple examples there, carbon dioxide, water vapor, that little G in brackets means it's a gas, so water vapor, methane, ozone, um, nitrous, nitrous oxide. So these must uh, be compounds with at least two different elements or three of the same elements. So something like ozone, it just has oxygen in there, but there are three oxygens attached together, so that can make it a, um, a greenhouse gas. Otherwise, it needs to have at least two different elements. So how do greenhouse gases work? Well, they absorb energy, which causes them to move, and then they release that energy through their movement. So you can see from these pictures there, those are all uh, little molecules moving around. So they've absorbed energy. It gives them the ability to move through their bonds between the two different atoms. They can move and then they release that energy through their movement. So what about the bad greenhouse effect or the anthropogenic or human enhanced greenhouse effect? Well, this is caused when humans have actions on Earth that cause too much greenhouse effect, and it causes the Earth to eat up, heat up too much. Um, and some of these can be caused by the same uh, greenhouse gases that would naturally uh, exist with the natural greenhouse effect, but the humans produce too many of these greenhouse gases, so it causes this enhanced effect. And here are some sources of greenhouse gases. So we can see things like um, residential and commercial buildings, so that's something that we can all um, have an impact on if we think about how we're using our energy in our homes. Transportation, that's a big one for greenhouse gases. Industry, um, some people don't realize that agriculture and forestry have major impacts on greenhouse gases. If we're thinking about forestry, we're also thinking about trees that we're cutting down and those trees would normally be taking in some things like carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas. So all of these are sources of greenhouse gases. So let's take another look at our learning goals. Can you describe the greenhouse effect? 
Can you describe what makes a greenhouse gas? And can you list sources of greenhouse gases? If you can do all these things, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video. And if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.